it just a minute for folks to come in from the waiting room. As a reminder, please mute yourself. Good afternoon. This is a hearing before the licensing board for the city of Boston. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. Today's hearing is being conducted pursuant to certain temporary amendments to the open meeting law. That is what allows us to meet virtually. Today's hearing is being recorded and will be posted to the city of Boston's website. Before we begin, I will introduce chairwoman Kathleen Joyce. Good afternoon, thank you for joining us today. My name is Kathleen Joyce and I'm chair of the licensing board and I'm joined today by commissioner Liam Curran and commissioner Kiana Saxon. Thank you. I will call each item as it appears on the agenda. I will ask who is present on behalf of the applicant, after which you will make a brief presentation and the chairwoman and commissioners will ask questions. I will then take testimony beginning from elected officials and their representatives. Please utilize the, the chat function if you wish to testify and provide your name, address, and affiliation, if any. Item nine on the agenda, 25 on the Hill LLC doing business as the Beacon Hill Bistro has requested a continuance and will be continued to February 24th at 1 p.m. This item will not be heard today. Calling Patina Marine Life LLC located at Central Wharf, holder of a general on-premise all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the licensed business to Jacqueline Kelly. Lastly, is petitioned to change the officers and directors. Is there anyone present on behalf of the licensee? Good afternoon, uh, Madam Chairwoman, members of the board. Uh, John Aida, I'm McDermott, Quilton Miller, 28 State Street, Suite 802, Boston, Mass. On behalf of the uh, licensee, also joining me is uh, Jacqueline Kelly. Um, Jacqueline is the proposed manager of record. Um, she was before the board about a month ago on a similar application um, uh, for the same reason for a change in manager. Uh, she has over 20 years experience in the food and beverage industry. She is a resident of Massachusetts, a citizen of the United States, and she is familiar with the rules and regulations of the board, the ABCC, and the laws of the Commonwealth as it pertains to the sale and service of alcohol. Um, Jackie is here if you have any questions for her. Uh, thank you, attorney. And Jackie, thank you for joining us. I think your attorney did a great job covering all of the questions. I don't have any questions for you um, or your attorney commissioners, do you? None. Seeing none, are there any individuals who wish to testify regarding this application? The board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. And, and Madam Chair, just one clarification. The other half of that was a change of officer title. Um, there's no changes to the day-to-day -day operations. And we were here last week on, a, um, on that identical application as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calling RBSBW Inc. doing business as Roach Bros Supermarket located at 8 Summer Street. Holder of a retail package store, all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the licensed business to Michael Waterhouse, attorney James Sperber. Yes, hi, this is James Sperber. I'm on the phone, got knocked off the Zoom here. Um, good afternoon, commissioners. Um, yes, we're uh, applying for a change of manager of record to Michael Waterhouse. Uh, I cannot see if Michael is on online or... Uh, on the phone, Michael, yes, you're around. Him. Yep, Michael's joined us. Great. Uh, uh, thank you. Okay. Do you want me to take it from here, attorney? Yeah, if you could. Sure. Um, um, Michael, thank you for joining us. If you want to unmute yourself, I'll just ask you some questions for the record. Of course, thank you. Are you a citizen? I am. Are you a resident of the Commonwealth? I am. Do you have experience in the food and beverage industry? I do. Um, are you familiar with the rules and regulations of this board, the ABCC and the laws of the Commonwealth as they pertain to the sale and service of alcohol? That I am. Okay, thank you. I have no further questions. Thank uh, you. Commissioners, do you? No. Seeing no questions, is there anyone who wishes to testify regarding this application? Seeing no one, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calling Boston Harbor Cruises LLC, doing business as The Landing, located at 6 Long Wharf. Holder of a common bitular seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the licensed business to Robert Lawler. Hi, Robert Lawler here for Boston Harbor Cruises. And I am a uh, citizen of uh, the Commonwealth. 
I have been employed in the food and beverage industry for uh, almost 30 years, and I'm very familiar with the ABCC rules and all uh, liquor licensing rules for Boston. And uh, I am uh, here on behalf, along with uh, one of our managers, Mike Iapica, who's the current manager. We will not be changing any of our operational parameters. And uh, that's it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lawler. Just one question, are you a citizen? I am a citizen, yes. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, do you have any questions? Is there anyone present who wishes to testify regarding this application? Seeing no one, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Thank you very much. Calling Museum of Science, doing business as the Museum of Science located at One Science Park. Holder of a common vigilar seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned for a change of officer and director. Is the license be present? Yes. Yes, Mina Bly is here representing the Museum of Science, and we also have Mr. Brian Therian on the call. Okay, thank you for joining us. Um, are there any changes to operations? No changes to operations. Okay, just the officers and the director change? Correct. Okay, thank you. Um, commissioners, do you have any questions? Seeing none, is there anyone present who wishes to testify regarding this application? Seeing no one, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Calling the Algonquin Club of Boston, doing business as the Algonquin Club, located at 217 Commonwealth Avenue. Holder of a club all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the doing business as of the licensed business from Algonquin Club to the Quinn House. Secondly, has petitioned to change the manager of the licensed business to Sumit Jing Jingan. Lastly, has petitioned to pledge the license to Needham Bank. Attorney Patricia Malone. Attorney Malone? You are muted. Yep. Good afternoon, uh, members of the board. I'm here today with three um, actual petitions. The first one is a change of DBA. Um, as you are aware, the Algonquin Club was sold two years ago to a new owner. Um, she obviously has a new vision uh, for the licensed venue and therefore is seeking to change of name from the Algonquin Club to the Quinn House. Um, the second petition we're asking for approval is, is based on a pledge of the liquor license uh, to cover the extensive renovations that are going on in the license premises and is part and parcel of a uh, construction loan uh, that is, is being sought from Needham Bank. The premises is um, under extensive renovations. However, it um, will, um, we believe it will be open uh, the beginning of June. I know it's been closed for a while. However, the pandemic has um, obviously thrown a kind of a wrench in, into some of the renovations. So we are hoping we are hoping that we will be open in June of this year. Um, the third issue is um, the change of manager from Mr. Norman Hall to Sami Jahing. Uh, Mr. Jahing, I believe, is here with us today, and he is a resident of the Commonwealth, also a citizen, um, is familiar with the rules and regulations of this body, and um, he has experience in several high-end um, hospitality uh, industry, both in the United States and outside the United States. Um, I can answer any questions you may have. And uh, Mr. Jahang is also here with me and he can answer any of the questions that the board may have for him. Okay, thank you, attorney. Is he sitting with you or? Oh, I, I think I see him. Yes. Mr. Jahang? Oh, yes, okay. hi. Okay, thank you. Um, Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I didn't see you there first. Thank you, uh, your attorney did a great job. She covered the questions that I had for you. Um, and a, Attorney Malone, is the reason for the pledge the construction? To, yeah, there's already been a $25 million infusion in cash into the building. And um, there's, you know, obviously there's, they went over as most, most people do with, um, you know, renovations. So yes, it is for the, to finish the renovations with the, with the premise. Okay, thank you. I have no further questions, commissioners, do you? Seeing none, is there anyone who wishes to testify regarding this application? Thank you, the board will take this matter under advisement. I appreciate your time, thank you, have a good day. Calling it Thailand International Corporation, doing business as House of Siam, located at 542 Columbus Avenue. Holder of a common vigilar seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned for a change of officers, directors, and new stockholders. Secondly, has petitioned for a change of stock ownership interest. Lastly, has petitioned to change the manager of the license business from James Rogers to Pachara Shurusak. Attorney, um, Attorney Nugent, is Attorney Nugent available? Yes, uh, good afternoon. My name is Kung Nguyen, and I represent uh, 
the new owner of uh, Thailand International Corporation. So what happened in this situation was the owner of the company of this uh, restaurant, as well as the manager of record, uh, both unfortunately passed away. And uh, so I represent the surviving spouse of the owner and they, um, and I'm also here with the manager um, who has worked with the restaurant for, uh, you know, since 2009. She is a US citizen. She is very familiar with the rules and regulations of the board. She is a resident of Massachusetts. Um, and, uh, and also trying to transfer, obviously we're trying to transfer the, the ownership of the restaurant to the surviving spouse, uh, Quan Chat, uh, Wang Jiang Tip, who is also here with me. Okay, thank you. Um, attorney, I, you, you, thank you for explaining that to us. You did cover the questions I had regarding the manager of record. Just wanna make sure that your client, who's gonna be the manager of record um, does she have experience in the food and beverage industry? Yes, I work at Hoplian since 2009. So I have a lot of experience in food and beverage. So I have confidence, I know, I have a knowledge about this. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Uh, commissioners, do you have any questions? Yes, our, our condolences for your loss. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Is there anyone who wishes to testify regarding this application? Seeing no one, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calling 79 Park Plaza LLC, doing business as the Oyster Club, located at 91 Park Plaza. Holder of a common vigiler seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to transfer the license from the above to TDC Heritage Holdings LLC at the same location. Closing hour 2 a.m., David Morancy, manager. Is there anyone present on behalf of the applicant? Again, uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Madam Chairwoman, members of the board, John Aida, Victor Ray Quilty and Miller on behalf of the applicant. Um, David Morrency is here. He is the sole member manager of this LLC as well as the proposed manager of record. Um, just by way of note, he, uh, his uh, uh, LLC as well um, was the prior operator and owner of this license before it was transferred to the Oyster Club. Um, and David was also approved at that time as the manager of record. Um, this transaction is really pursuant to a lease termination agreement. Um, the applicant is a, an affiliate of the landlord and essentially the transfer is agreeing to transfer this license uh, to allow for the earlier termination of the lease. Um, at this time, the premises is closed and, and for the foreseeable future, it will be closed as the uh, landlord is seeking a long-term tenant uh, for this location. So, um, you know, we're aware obviously that the uh, new tenant would have to come back in front of the board, com uh, complete the community process. Um, and, uh, you know, once that tenant is secured. So essentially we're looking to um, transfer that pursuant to that lease termination agreement. Um, and again, David, as I stated before, uh, was previously approved as the manager of record just prior to the Oyster Club holding this license. So he is a United States citizen, uh, a resident of Massachusetts, and, as well as being familiar with the rules and regulations of the board, the uh, ABCC and the laws of the Commonwealth. Okay. Um, since you will be coming back um, to the board, I'll just hold, we'll revisit this then. Um, just continue to update us on the next steps of this location. I have no further questions. Commissioners, do you? Seeing none, are there any individuals who wish to testify regarding this application? Thank Mara, you, board. Oh, I'm sorry. Mara, I'm the chair members of the board, Ana Calderon from Councillor Flink's office. The councillor would like to go on record in support. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Seeing no one else, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Calling Uno Restaurants LLC, doing business as Uno Chicago Grill, located at 731 Boylston Street. Holder of a common vigiler seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to transfer the license in the location from the above to Cojam LLC, located at 276 to 278 Newberry Street. In four rooms on first floor, consisting of four dining areas and bar with seating for 103, containing approximately 3,285 square feet. In two rooms on lower level, consisting of wine bar with seating for 25, kitchen and restrooms containing approximately 2,603 square feet. Two outdoor seasonal, two outdoor patios, March through November on private property, each with seating for 20. Kenneth Oranger, manager, closing hour, 1 a.m. Attorney Ayeda. 
Yep. Uh, again, good afternoon. John Aida on behalf of the applicant CoJam LLC. Uh, joining me uh, this afternoon are the co-owners, Jamie Bissonette and Ken Oranger. Um, both of these gentlemen are award-winning chefs and restaurateurs, well-known in Boston, um, as well as outside of Boston uh, internationally. Um, they uh, have both been managers of record um, and have been vetted through that process. Um, Ken is listed as the uh, proposed manager of record on this license. Combined, they have approximately 50 years experience in the restaurant industry. Um, and they have an exemplary record in front of this board as well as uh, throughout the state. Um, what they're looking to do, this is at 276 Newbury. Um, this was a former retail space. They are uh, in the process of um, completing a complete change to a restaurant build out of that space. Um, it's going to have two uh, exterior patios, um, both flanking the sides as you come in on ground level. And there are two floors. On the, on the first floor, there'll be a restaurant and bar area with approximately 103 seats. And then the lower level is an additional bar area with 25 seats. Um, they are looking to open up with focus on Italian, um, is an Italian restaurant with a focus on lighter seafood um, and uh, still working on the name. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress on that, but um, we will be uh, back in front of the board once that's determined. Uh, as I stated, this is a, a build out of this space. Um, it's gonna be something that's gonna be really um, be a great addition to the neighborhood. Um, there's a present need for this restaurant at this location uh, for a sit down restaurant and it's been well received so far from the neighborhood um, as well as the uh, uh, different associations. Um, it's a place where the residents can go grab a food, uh, bite to eat or a drink. Um, they really think they're gonna capture a lot of the foot traffic uh, once that gets going again. Um, and they really think that, you know, this is something that on their own, in, in their own little way, they're trying to revitalize this, um, you know, neighborhood and get, and get uh, customers back in. Um, and uh, other than that, I think um, the service will be brunch, lunch, and dinner. Um, and uh, again, full service restaurant um, at this location. So again, it would be a great addition. We did meet with the Neighborhood Association of Back Bay, and we had some very good discussions with them and input, and uh, they were um, uh, very um, eager to see this open up, I think, and, and everyone is to, to get it underway. And uh, Jamie and Ken are, are present as well. Ken, as I stated before, he is a United States citizen and a mass resident. He's a pre previous manager of record and he is obviously very knowledgeable um, in, with the laws as it pertains to sale and service of alcohol. Okay, thank you. Just, I just have one question. The two seasonal outdoor patios from March to November on private property, um, what are the hours you're Proposing for those patios? Sure. So, yep. So um, we had discussed a 10 p.m. closing. I, I believe that the Neighborhood Association is fine with that. However, we I can't remember if we discussed further on this Friday and Saturday nights. We would like to have it till 11 p.m. Um, and I know there may be a representative here from um, the Neighborhood Association, but I think it's something that they've allowed in the past and something we're obviously very cognizant of uh, its location to the area residents as well. So um, I see Conrad's there. Uh, so we, again, we, we talked about a 10 p.m. closing on uh, Sunday through Thursday and 11 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, thank you. do you have any questions? Is there anyone present who wishes to testify beginning with elected officials and their representatives? Yeah, um, good afternoon, Madam Chair. And members of the board, this is Kennedy with Councillor Box Office. The councillor would like to go on record of support of this applicant. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Are there any other elected officials or representatives of elected officials who wish to testify? Madam Chair, members of the board, Shanice Pimento, the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services. Um, the Mayor's Office would like to go on record in support. The applicant did uh, meet with the Neighborhood Association of the Back Bay, as mentioned, and they did come to some agreements, including a 1 a.m. closing hour. Um, we do ask the applicant respect those agreements, but we have no further questions or concerns. Um, yeah, so we would like to go on record and support. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other individuals who wish to testify? Conrad? Uh, yes, yeah, so just chiming in the last, I was a little bit late, sorry. Um, I'm Conrad Armstrong from 439 Marble Street, representing the Neighborhood Association of Back Bay. 
Uh, we met with the applicant and we're happy they're starting your restaurant and very happy that they agreed to a 1 a.m. closing time. Okay, thank you. Any other individuals? Seeing no one, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Again, item yep. nine has been continued to February 24th. Calling BB Kitchen Inc. doing business as Zuma's Tex-Mex Grill located at 353A Faneuil Hall Marketplace. Holder of a common vigilar seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to transfer the license and location from the above to Nando 393 Hanover Inc. doing business as Nando's Trattoria 391 to 395 Hanover Street in one large room on first floor with seating areas and bar seating capacity of 42. Kitchen and restrooms in rear, basement for storage and food preparation. Total square footage, 2,000 square feet. One entrance, two exits. Closing hour, 1 a.m. Friday and Saturday. 12 a.m. midnight, Sunday through Thursday. Palmyra Gian Gregorio Furicano, manager. Is there anyone present on behalf of the licensee? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the board. Attorney Ryan Gazda from McDermott Cool D. Miller on behalf of the applicant Nando 393 Hanover, Inc. Mira Gian Gregorio Furicano, who's the owner and proposed manager of record, I believe is also on the call with us as well. Uh, as mentioned by Leslie, this will be a transfer application for a all alcohol license at the proposed new restaurant Nando's Trattoria at 393 Hanover Street, which will be a full service Italian restaurant with approximately 42 seats on the ground floor and about 2000 square feet. The proposed closing hours will be 1 a.m. Friday and Saturday and 12 a.m. Sunday through Thursday. This is the former site of the Green Cross Pharmacy that Mir's family had owned, excuse me, owned and operated for nearly 50 years and closed down recently in the past year and a half. Um, but the space has been rezoned for restaurant use. So to that end, we're applying to transfer this liquor license into the new location to allow the restaurant to commence operations. Uh, as mentioned, Mir is the sole owner and is the proposed manager of record for the restaurant. Her husband, Sal, who has many years of experience as an executive chef, will also be working at the restaurant alongside Mira. Um, she is a US citizen, Massachusetts resident, and is familiar with the rules and regulations regarding the sales service of alcohol, uh, and it's member of this board and the ABCC. Prior to coming here today, we have met with uh, members of the community, including both Nura and Nunick, and we've received um, no opposition to this application. So. With that, John, she's excited to begin operating as soon as possible um, and as soon as COVID regulations allow it to get back to some sense of normalcy. Um, but happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks, Attorney Gazda. Is your client here? I, I know you said I'm here. Me. Oh, okay, thank you. I just didn't see you there before. Um, and your attorney uh, did a great job explaining um, why you're qualified to be a manager of record. I don't have any questions, commissioners, do you? Seeing none, are there any individuals uh, who wish to testify regarding this application? Uh, John Romano? Madam Chair, members of the board, this is John Romano from the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services. Um, as you had heard, the applicant here has gone through an extensive community process and has, has received support from the community. And at this time, we'd like to go on record of support. Thank you. Are there any other elected officials or representatives of elected officials who wish to testify regarding this application? Are there any other individuals who wish to testify regarding this application? Seeing none, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calling Savin Crossing LLC, doing business as the Knightley, located at 102 to 110 Savin Hill Avenue, has applied for a common vigilar seven day all alcoholic beverages license to be exercised on the above. Premise includes basement and second floor connected by rear staircase that also acts as emergency means of egress. Patrons enter front staircase elevator. Basement includes nine rooms, dining room, bar, kitchen, two walk-in coolers, walk-in freezer, two restrooms, office, and electrical. Second floor includes main function space, kitchenette, six offices, two conference rooms, two phone booths, two bathrooms, storage, and patio on private property. Manager, John C. McDonough, closing hour, 11 p.m. Attorney Alec Benelli. Attorney Benelli. Good afternoon, thank you. And good afternoon, Madam Chair and members of the board. I'm Alec Benelli with the business address at 10 Forbes Road West. On behalf of the applicant, Savin Cross and LLC doing business as the Knightley. And with me today is the proposed manager of record, John McDonough, who is a manager of the license of the Daily. Both John and the Daily have been well received in the community. John has a stellar record and reputation as manager of the Daily. The Knightley will build community much the way the Daily has successfully done over the past year. 
the type of events and the layout of the premise in combination with the location are a natural fit for gathering and building community in Savin Hill, which is needed but lacking. The Nightly is the ideal location for the type of restaurant and community gathering place being proposed. Guests can arrive at the Nightly by foot, bike, train, or car. The Nightly is across the street from the Savin Hill train station along the MBTA red line. And there are approximately 50 parking spaces that would be available to customers of the Nightly when the Crystal Ray School is not in session. The Nightly would encourage foot traffic to the village commercial district for neighborhood residents. Savin Hill over the bridge is completely devoid of dining options. The area uh, is devoid of the type of and scale of uh, community gathering that I will mention to you. While there are other bars and restaurants in a half mile radius of the Nightly, it's far from oversaturated or adequately served. None of the none offer the community building or gathering that the Nightly proposes to do in order to fill a community want and need in the growing Savin Hill community. There are many developments coming online or about to come online. In the dot block development alone, there are an approximately 488 units being constructed already. None of the existing license holders or other restaurant venues have the capacity of hosting a private function event like the Nightly would be able to for family and community to gather. The Nightly concept is a response to the findings from the extensive market research the applicant has conducted. They conducted a 35 question survey with over 400 residents from the community. The applicant modeled the proposal off the feedback from the respondents. The Nightly will be a casual neighborhood Italian style pizza restaurant focusing on serving food and drinks sourced locally. The Nightly will operate daily from 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. serving lunch and dinner. The premises allows for neighborhood gatherings on the second floor function space and terrace or below in the dining room, cafe and bar area. The concept is to program the space for TED Talk and Moth Radio Hour type events and to collaborate with the neighboring Cristo Ray School and larger Savin Hill community who both support the proposal. The dining room, cafe and bar area located below the daily market and grocery store would have seating for 81 guests and a total capacity for 90. The basement square footage is 2,360 square feet. Staff will have exclusive access to the rear staircase connecting the basement and second level portions of the premise. The second level will serve more for functions and events allowing for those unique community gathering events I alluded to earlier. On the second floor, there's an outdoor terrace on the premise, which is on private property. It would be open year round, weather permitting. The second level would have a seating capacity of 52 and a total capacity for 127. The second level square footage is 2,640 and the total square footage for the premise is 5,120 square feet. Thank you, Attorney Vanelli. Thank you, Manager. Um, just want to clarify, I know you you your testimony said that the patio would be opening around. I think maybe it, it's incorrect in our agenda. It says April 1st to 1031, but you are proposing um, year round, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so just so I can wrap my head around this, the function space is, is going to be also managed by the restaurant? Yes. It's okay. um, got a rear staircase uh, that will have exclusive access by staff. Uh, serving the uh, dining room area and the function uh, space above. Okay, thank you. Um, is Mr. McDonough next to you? He is. Hi, Hi Mr. McDonough. I'm just gonna, since you're gonna be the manager of record, um, I'm just gonna ask you our standard questions. Um, are you a citizen? Yes, I am. Are you a resident of the Commonwealth? I am. Your attorney already explained that you do have experience in the food and beverage industry. Are you familiar with the rules and regulations of our board, the ABCC, and the laws of the Commonwealth as they pertain to the sale and service of alcohol? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, do you have any thank questions you. for the applicant? Seeing none, are there any individuals who wish to testify regarding this application, beginning with elected officials or their representatives? Madam Chair, members of the board, Patrick Fandel, Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services. Um, I won't go into too much detail. I think the applicant did a great job explaining um, the need in the community, but I just would like to note that this has gone through a full community process. Um, they've activated this corner of Savin Hill very well, and um, we look forward to them working further in the community. Thank you. 
Thank you. Are there any other individuals who wish to testify regarding this application? Seeing none, the board will take this matter under advisement. Thank, Thank you. you. Those are Thank all the you. items before the board today. Thank you all for joining us.